Yeah, Jack, I'm live right now, but I was just curious to know what happened to my tripod, but you can talk to me about it later. No, that's my old one. I'll talk to you later, but it was in my trunk. Yes, it's gone. Bye. I mean, shit, nigga. I mean, what the fuck you want me to do, Shit. Chest, shoulders about to go down. Let's go. Warm up time. Warm up time. Yo, we got Kepstar on the tracks again. Yo, the reason why I've been playing a lot of Kepstar, one is my man, my good friend for years, childhood friend. But yo, I can't be getting these copyright claims on the uh, live, so I ain't trying to get these copyright claims. We're going to be hearing free music. Shoulders, chest, what you guys want to see? What you want to see? What you want to see? So y'all know, y'all know, y'all know that. You guys know that I'm big on the rear delt flies for warm up. You see me doing that warm up all the time, and you're gonna be wondering why am I doing on a chest day? Look, what are we doing on chest? We're pushing, right? We're always in internal rotation. We're protracting our scap all the time, pushing, bench press, pushing, dipping, right? So we're always in that rounded state, especially on a push day. You want to really open up your shoulder blades prior, so you're hitting those rear delt flies first. Open up the shoulder blades, open up the chest, put your body into that external rotation because we're going to be hitting a lot of internal rotation movements today. So you don't want to get that rounded posture. Remember, you guys, posture is key. You want good form and everything. You don't want to have a good body with a shitty posture, right? So warm up again. Yo, Lizette, what up, girl? I see you. Another warm up set. Remember, guys, pull to the forehead high, elbows flaring out. Remember, warm up your shoulders properly before you get into any workouts. Always remember, if you're not if you're not doing legs, your shoulder joints gonna be involved no matter what you're doing. Rowing, pressing, pushing, no matter what, everything's coming from that shoulder joint. Make sure it's thoroughly warmed up. Shake your arms out, get loose. You guys already know. What up? What up? Yo, what up? Shaz was good. Yo, Shaz, eat that dinner. Make sure you get that protein. Jersey was good, Mark. Murky water, ah, you were ready. All right, so today you guys been seeing my push legs, my push leg pull routine, right? So I should be doing five by five weighted dips today. My dips are mad strong, bro. It's my bench that's weak, so I'm gonna switch it up today. And I'm going to hit a 5-3-1 chest workout first with a bench. I'm going to work up to a heavy single set. I'm going to try to get stronger in bench press right now. My dips are strong. You guys already know that. So you're going to see me doing dips as accessory work today, high volume. So I'm going to start with a bench press, get a little warm-up set in. Then I'll work my way up into heavy set. So let's get it. I'm going to move the shit closer for y'all so we all 
rocking together. I'm going to set up the rack. Yo, send requests. You guys want demonstrations for chest workouts? You got questions? Don't forget, ask. I'm gonna do a little dip warm up too for you guys to show you. Again, pro I'll show you guys proper dip form. If you guys missed my first video, a lot of you have dip questions, so you'll see that too as a warm up. I'll get into that in one minute. Let me set the rack up. Remember, guys. A lot of you guys have problems doing dips, so let me give you another demonstration real quick. Don't forget. Remember. What you do not want to do. Start with the depression of the shoulders. No, you do never want to be holding stuff like this. Always locked out. Traps pressed up. See here? This is no good. So when you start your dip, you should not start like this and then bend the elbows. That's how you're going to get that neck pain, that impingement in the shoulder, hurt your shoulder. Remember, all from the elbow. Watch from the angle, guys. Ready? Here, first movement. Bending at the elbow only. Up. Trap stays locked out. Ready? Bending at the elbow only. Elbow only. Lock out, traps are locked out. That's the press. That's no good. Locked out, strong. So make sure you're doing your dips the right way. Every day in hustling, you already know what's at home. We're going to make your chest wider. Wider chest, well, hip variations of push ups, single arm archer push ups. So one arm up, aiming for one arm push ups at a time. That'll really put some width on. So it'll, hit the, it'll hit this deep part of the chest right here. Yo, what's good, almighty? We already know. Yo, stay tuned. We're about to get into bench press. Yeah. Yo, Nathan, I told you guys, be careful with your dips, bro. Be really careful. With oh, shit. Oh, my gold is getting tangled. Damn, bro. My bad. This counts as extra weight, too, right? So I'm doing weighted sets. Remember, here, not here. So make sure when you're dipping, you're not doing this. And down. Always starting here, bending at the elbow, locking out. I don't want to see no depression and then elbow drop. That's incorrect. That's going to set you up for pain. All right? I can go deeper with dips without any comfort. Should I? Yeah, watch. Ready? You want to go deep. Get that range. The deeper you go, more shoulder mobility. As long as it's comfortable for you, you ain't going to get hurt. You're good to go. So, yo, I'm going to get into some bench press. Remember, so the program I'm on, the push legs pull right now, I should be on a 5x5 five five weighted dip. But I have not failed on a weighted dip session yet. I was just doing it with 115 last week. So now I'm going to do instead a 5-3-1 bench press. Remember, 5-3-1 meaning I'm going to start five reps at a relatively heavy weight, go up a little heavier, hit three reps. Then I'm going to go for my one rep maxes just for singles. So I may hit one rep and go up again one rep, or I may stay at one rep, one consistent weight, and hit the one, one, one for three times. Do an extra set for me, man. Work. Yo, I got you, RMS fam. Allie, I got you, brother. I'll do extra sets for you. Why do I get elbow pain when I do overhead triceps? If you're talking about this, overhead tricep like this, I don't know, switch the workout up. Maybe do some tricep kickbacks or work on more bodyweight tricep exercises. You don't really have to do many isolated tricep exercises if you're doing calisthenics. Yo, let's get it. Y'all can see the bench. Can y'all see? All right, we're going to throw just one warm up set, 135, and then we're going to get into the five sets. 
Going to plate on. Yo, watch the video that we're putting out. Subscribe. I'm putting out smart videos, you guys. Intelligent, smart information. Yo, it's cold down here today, but we moving, we warming up, we heating up. All right, 135, warm-up set. What are we looking at? How can you work your pull-up with no pull-up bar? Man, find a fucking a door frame. You could do tower pull-ups, but it's really not going to help your pull-up. Man, you got to get a bar, something to hang, up, hang off of. Yo, thank you, total. Yo, thanks on the on the 10K. Congratulations, bro. Let's go. Let's rap. Yo, my man kept killing the verse. <laughs> Quick eight reps with 135. Warm up. You guys saw it went down to the chest. Get a nice little pause. Stretch the chest out. Press up. So I said I'm gonna do a five, three, one. I'm gonna work up to a heavy single. Who knows what heavy's gonna be? It may only get to 185, maybe 195. Let's see. You guys saw my bench is my weakest move right now. I can do weighted dips 135 for reps on me. The translate to the bench always been my weakest movement, so we're working on it. That's how you gotta do it, guys. The exercise has gotta stay consistent. If you guys want to see progress, whether you're doing bodybuilding, weight training, calisthenics. The exercise has got to be consistent. You can't be all over the place and expect to make progress. Remember, if you want to get a planche, you want to get a front lever, train for those movements. Don't be doing everything else. You want to get 100 push-ups, train for that. You want to get a stronger bench, train for it. You can't be all over the place. The same movements, week in, week out. And again, excuse me. Every week's not always going to be a good week. You're not always going to be better than the last week. Remember, progress is not always linear. Progress is... If you're tracking it, you want to see the consistent trend, but it's not always going to be up, 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 up. There will be peaks and valleys in your progress. If it was always, always, always going to be progress, everybody would be benching 500 pounds because everybody would just be doing better and better. Slow progress over no progress. All right, yo, let's get it. Let's throw some weight on. I just threw a 10 on each side. Now I'm going to throw a 5 on each side. So we got... Right now we got a 45, a 10, and a 5 on each side. So I got 165 on the bar. That's just about body weight. And I know I can get that for eight reps right now. I know I'm going to hit it for eight reps. But I'm going to throw 170. I'm going to throw another two and a half on each side. Throw 170 on the bar. And we're going to go 170 for five reps right now. Yo, 170 times five. Set one. Y'all ready? And we're going to, like I said, we're doing a five, three, one. So we're going to keep increasing the weight. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
there every concert. Everything is falling out my hands, but it's falling into place. I don't think I understand, and I really don't. All right. Hit that 170 for five. Nice. You guys saw the pause reps? You guys can see the angle, right? That's better for you. 170 for five. We're going to go up. We're going to rate about two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes. Remember, I want to be fresh. I want to be strong each set now. I'm not doing endurance set. I'm not trying to swell the muscle up with blood. That's sarcoplasma hypertrophy. That's high volume training. Remember, I'm going for muscular denseness now. The lower volume reps, the heavier weight, it's going to build a thicker, denser muscle. The high volume, yes, you're going to build muscle. It's just sarcoplasma. It's more of a swelling. It's more blood and nutrients being pumped into the muscle. You're filling up the cells. You're swelling the cells up. This, you're th building thicker, denser fibers in that low rep range. So we're going to go up a little bit. Wait. Three reps next set. What other questions we got? What other questions we got? Do I have a body weight calisthenics program? Yeah, bro. Go on my – yo, Matt Best. Check out my website, bro. Which, whatever your level is, my calisthenics routines will definitely benefit you for your MMA, bro. Yo, my man, one of my best friends from back in the day, Julio. Old school training partner, was a fighter for years, bro. All he did was calisthenics with me. He was the strongest person in the ring every time he fought. So, yo, definitely check out a program on my page, barnaturalfitness.com. You already know. Let me put the link in the page. Get yourself a program. Much greatly appreciated. All right, we're going up. Set two. Three reps. Let's throw some weight on. Remember, we just hit 170. We're going up. Yo. I just realized I didn't even put those two and a half arms, yo. I only hit 165 that said I'm tight. I'm doing 175 now for five. Yo, we're doing that set over. 175 for five. Let's get it. 175 for five. Right now. Don't forget, yo, go subscribe to Kep's page. Go download his music on iTunes, Kep Star. And you already know. Essential aminos, creatine, glutamine, some car powder. Let's go. 175. Light five reps. Come on. Ha! One, seven, five, five reps. The real set one. Let's go. Ah. Bro, my one rep max on bench. Like I said, I haven't benched all summer. When I'm training calisthenics mostly from May up until October, November, I really slack on the overhead pressing and my bench press. I'm trying to really focus on more calisthenics. So I like to train outside and I don't really go to the gym that often. I'm not benching that often. It's not my focus. So in, in the past, my max was only 255. Bro, no shame. My bench has always been my weakest, always been my weakest movement. Right now, if I was to say my one rep max on the bench, maybe 215, maybe 205. We'll see you today, though. Yo, we, we playing free music. My man, boy, my boy kept star music. You guys got more free music. We ain't going to get no copyright claims. Hit me up. All right, now we got to hit three reps with a heavier weight. Yo, listen, yo, listen. Yo, 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 yo. Tell me how I'm supposed to 
Go on another five on each side. So 185. 185 times three. Set. 2.5. Remember, guys, make sure you're tracking your, your reps. Look, fit list. One of my, I got it back in the day when they opened, first opened, it was free. I had to pay no fees on it. Or maybe I did, and I'm lifetime in now. But look, let me show you guys. Look. So what we did today, what we did today, first set, 135 for eight, right? Then we hit. 165 for five, 175 for five. Now we're gonna go up, but look, this is how I look. You guys can see, I'm always tracking. I hope you guys, look, always track. So you know if you're doing better. Let's go back to my heaviest. Let me find for you the heaviest bench I've ever done. So let look, April 20th, I was hitting, can you guys see this? April 20th, I hit 185 for eight reps, seven reps. Remember, I was, that was just when I was getting, before I was getting back into the park routine all the time. So I was a little stronger, benching more consistent than what else. Let's go back. Let's see what my heaviest was that I could find. 205 for five reps. You guys can see that? December 2nd, 2019, 205 for five. What else we got? What else we got? Let's go to some heavier numbers. Let's go to some heavier numbers. 225 for four reps. Oh, I'm sorry, 225 for two reps back in February 23rd, last year, 2019. So remember, guys, the things, your focus is your focus. I train a lot more consistently in the gym in the winter months. That's when my that's when I consistently put on size and weight, and I always happens to me every year. I slack off with the weightlifting, go more towards calisthenics. And when I'm in the gym in the wintertime, my calisthenics slacks. I still do it, but my endurance always goes to shit when I go back to the bar. It's hard to find the balance. I'm really going to work on this. That's what you'll be seeing me doing all those muscle-up routines at the end of my training, all those high rep uh, body weight sets, even after I'll be doing these weighted sets. So three reps now. Let's go. Yo, dumbbells for good price here. Check this. Check my man out. Star. Check that page out on Instagram. All right, 185 for three. Let's go. One eighty-five for three. Done. Now we're gonna start hitting singles. Rest two more minutes, and I'm gonna start upping the weight, going for singles. So what's good? What else y'all wanna see? What you wanna know? No problem, Abdul. Check check him out. That's where I get home. That's where I got my rack from. All my weights, everything comes from him. Remember, we gotta track that. One eighty-five for three. We gotta write that down. One eighty-five for three. Write that in, track it. All right, so right now I got a 45, two tens and a five on each side. I'm gonna take the two tens and a five off. I'm gonna throw a 25 pound plate and then add weight to there. So two tens and a five coming off. Twenty-five on each side. Plus, we'll 
start with a five. A 25 and a five on that. Now, 25. And the five. So now we're going to be 195. We're going to go for a single. If I hit it smooth, I'll up the weight for the next set. But we're going for three singles now. Three sets of one to round out the bench. Then I'll get into more sets. I'll get into weighted dips. I'll get into pressing movements. And whatever you guys want to see. One rep max on bench. I just told you, bro. Maybe right now, 215. Maybe. Max in the past, maybe 255. Uh, my age right now, I'm 32. And I've been training consistently since I'm 25. Calisthenics with my... In the beginning, I was anti-weights. 25 to like 27. I want to say I didn't really fuck with weights. I was just calisthenics. Then around 27, I started getting more into the weightlifting, mixing it up. Best of both worlds. Nah, I'm, I'm 161 pounds, man. 161, yeah, max 252. Oh, no, in the past, 255. What should one be benching? What's average? Bro, you want to at least be able to bench your body weight for a few reps. Work up to that to start, and then 1.5. It's my weakest movement, but, guys, we could be strong. At, if I was benching 255 at 160, that's almost 1.5 times my body weight. Yo, 26, Angel, you got mad time, bro. You could kill it. Thank you. Appreciate it, bro. I want to look young forever. Yo, y'all want to see the ring ring chest workouts too? Y'all want to want to see ring workouts? All right, but the rings are going to come up at the end for sure. I'm going to throw the rings up at the end. Do a lot of isolation, but I'm going to finish the bench. Then weighted dips, then dumbbells, then we're going to get into dips. It's going to be a long session, guys. Tune in. Make sure your friends are tuned in. Pass it to your boys, your family, everybody. Make sure they're signed in, bro. We're giving lessons out right here. Ring flies 100%. They're coming in, bro. We're doing them at the end of the routine. All right, let's get this single. 195. Ah. You gotta put your pride to the side if you really want to get it today. Cause it goes on and on and on. I don't want to be the same old song. So, what you gonna do when it goes on? Alright. Wasn't too bad. 195. Move. What'd you think? I moved that pretty good? Or it looked like I struggled? Let me know. Should I go to 200? 200 next set? How that looked? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. 195 for one. We're tracking it. Make sure you're tracking it. 200. I right, bet. We're getting the 200 next. Remember, we at 195. So that's a two and a half, and a two and a half, 200. Whoa. Yo, stay loose, guys. Don't be stiff. You, 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 and you can catch it. I'm too real, no, if you pretend it. New rappers, y'all too pretentious. Bars are wack and they coop is rented. What up, what up, what up? Yo, that's what I want to see, bro. I, that pull up progress is what I'm talking about. Work on my drills. Look at the post I put on Instagram today of my girl deadlifting and doing a pull up drill. You guys were, if you guys got weights, you guys want to get real strong, look at the last post I just put up. Come on, who's blowing me up right now? Who is this? Hello. No, you have the wrong number. I'm sorry. Bro, don't you know it's the Prez? No Say Michael. Yo, King Kong, bro. I copied it from you, my man. Mr. Yo, my man, King Kong. I can still squat low, though. What up? What up, what up, what up? Shaz, I got it, brother. Yo, 200, and then if it feels like we're going to 205. You guys tell me. If it looks good, let's go 200 right now. Let's get it. Let's go. 
Ah, ah, we undefeated. Five is going up. What up? What up? What up? Do I give dancing lessons, bro? You don't want to see my lessons, bro. Can't keep up. Don't you know it's the press? Facts. New York heating say easy, yo. Tell New York heating, yo. Anybody in New York need some problems with their heat or their boilers? Holla at my man King Comp and my man's over at New York heating. They keep in New York warm in this cold weather. Yo, 205, we going up. 205. You're, yo, the praise of merch. I'm hoping I get it this week, man. I'm hope. Damn, I'm going to show you guys the files real quick, bro. I'm going to give you guys the exclusive straight from the inbox. Straight from the inbox. Damn, what the All right, guys, let's see. Ready? I got it. I got it. I hope you guys can see this, but this is just a quick close-up of what my logo is doing. That's going to be on the sleeve. That's not going to be in the middle of the shirt. That's going to be on the left breastplate. That's the front bar nachos logo, and we got the back. We got the back. Hope you guys can see that. We got tees. We got tanks, we got hoodies, we got long sleeves coming out. The order is in. Just waiting for them to come and be delivered. Let's get it. Yo, ML, you already know. It's my boy, Broly. Tell him I said was popping. All right, 205, we're going up. No, remember, we're adding another two and a half, two and a half, 205. Let's go. Then I'm gonna hit this 205 for one, and then I'm gonna do a drop set and get some reps in at 185. I'm gonna rep the 185 as many as I can right away. When you got no spot, you got no choice to get the weight up. Drop set, let's go. Ah, 185. Let's go. I want six. Come on. So, we did 195 for one, we did 200 for one, we did 205 for one, and then we did 185 for five, and then 185 for one. 
That's going to wrap up bench. Now we're going to get into some accessories. Subject to dumbing down for the public view. One hit and they're comfortable. Give them substance and they're done with you. I'm not one of you, I never wanna be. There's no debate that I'm one or two. And if you can't keep up, basically I set hands down and I'm untouchable. Check to get nades and I'm ready to blow. Easy for me to keep mixing the flow. Now we can get easy for me. Go say those see me go. Some of these people don't know what is what. So fuck it, I'm closing the door shut. And I show them all up. I say that to say, I'm on my own. So try to compare them to me and they all suck. I am a man with a vision. I got the pain to the kitchen. If the business working is instant, play your position. You know I can end your existence. I'm here for the taking. But what's taking so long? I've been waiting. Maybe too patient. Watching this fake shit. They gave me some face. Like go in and say by the time that I wasted. Ah, the world about to go up in flames. And I'ma just sit back and watch. Shit doesn't stop. Came back with surgery. Stepped in the booth with the can. And I rock now. Locked in. Fuck it. I'm saying it's a minute and I'm not playing. Who wants to get Uh oh. You got the high bars out today. I was. Where legends got murdered, but perverse that shit ain't Told y'all guys. It was cremated up the black for while this man thought it's really burnt in. If you guys get yourself a pair of high dip bars like that, work with them. It's gonna change the game. Trust me. Without having to bend your knees, you're gonna get that deep range of motion. Let's go. 225. Nah, bro. I ain't. 205. That was it for today. That's always. Remember, next time. Always next time. This song is called Hoodie Mellow. My man Kepstar, Hoodie Mellow. That's H O O D I E. I'm going to write it down for y'all. Hoodie. Yo, make sure your boys are signed in, your fam. We need to pass this video around. Let's go. And yo, peep the videos I dropped earlier this morning. Come on, I'm always dropping gems. You already know the deal. Come on, we're just getting started, bro. We ain't hit 38 minutes. We got a lot more to go. How you got? Y'all see the dip bar? Y'all see it, right? Y'all see me? Y'all see me? Light off? Light off? Light off? Light off or light on? Light off or light on? Light off or light on? Tell me, light on or light off? Off, back. All right, all right, light off. Let's go. Y'all can see me, right? All right. Yo, we're throwing 80 pounds on, and we're going max reps. Ready? We got a 35, a 35, that's 70. Y'all ready? That's 70. Hold up. Where I? And a 10. So I'm strapping up all that right now. Yo, if you guys are wondering what type of dip belt I use, this is the type I've been using since day one, when I first started. I told you I've been consistent since 25. I probably started around 23, almost 10 years ago. I've been using this dip belt. A harbinger, I've had multiple forever. This is the best belt. All you got to do, if you want to get really heavy and lose heavy weight, just change this little carabiner and put a stronger one on the end so you can hold a lot of weight. But if you're working only like 100 pounds, the standing one is going to be money. Good, good money. So 35, 35, and a 10. You guys are going to see. You guys are going to see. You guys are going to see. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, save the power. Lights are off. Want to see you progress. Thank you, Charles. You already know. Yeah, I drink coffee two cups a day. Maybe on a high, on a tired day. If I start my day early, I might have three cups. But I'm drinking small cups, six, eight ounces tops, black, nothing else. Lights off, shirts off. Hey, all right, let's go. Let's go. Ah, 
80 pound max reps dips for the accessory work after the bench press. Where my gloves at? Can you use gloves yet? Ah. All right. Yo, we throwing back Hoodie Mello. Let's go. Ah. 80 pounds on. Let's go. Max rep, set one. I am not no subject. Dumbing down for the public view. One hit and they're comfortable. Give them substance and they're done with you. I'm not one of you. I never want to be. There's no debate that I'm one or two. And if you can't keep up, basically I set hands down. I'm untouchable. Strap to your nades and I'm ready to blow. Easy for me to keep mixing the flow up. Now isn't that who's here, amigos? Ain't you see, amigos? Some of these people don't know what is what. So fuck it, I'm closing the door. And I show 12. I could have got more. We're going to hit another set. So we're going to leave a few reps so in the tank. Me and they all suck. 12 reps, 80 pounds, 75, two seconds. Damn, bro. That's me. Fuck Jeep, bro. Jeep's a whack. All right, I was set one. The rest, 90 seconds. Go again. Ah. What up? What up? What up? What we got? The belt pinch your waist? Nah, bro. Just make sure you strap on the weight. Bro, I've strapped on numerous, numerous amount of weight. Just make sure it's on like your hips right here with the chest is comfortably. You'll get used to it, bro, but it has been time, trust me. I pinched a lot of shit. I pinched my skin. I smacked myself in the nuts, man. It's inevitable. Yo, let's go. Super Saiyan. How long do I train? Today's going to be like two hours right now because I'm with y'all. You already know. Usually about hour, hour 10. Next day, let's go. I want it this way. Let's go. You see the shoulder position. Let's go. The party is up so they blow out your candle. Easy. Yeah. Where I? Left off. Yo, throwing the Nike gloves on. Link in my bio and link in my descriptions. You already know. Hey. Shout out to my girl. What's up? Walking by. Salad. Do I want salad for lunch? No, just meat and rice or meat and potatoes today. Thanks, dear. Salad for lunch. Come on, girl's crazy. You see that, right? I train gym, cal, bro. I mix up. Weights and calisthenics in one session. As you're going to see, I'm going to throw the rings in today, too. How you do pec bounce? You got to make sure you got muscles there first so you have something to bounce. All right, yo, we're hitting another set. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo, peace, travel addict. Appreciate you. Let's go. 80 pounds. Let's go. We need some more shit, bro. We need some more cap. And no such thing. Yo, cap. Yeah, I'm trying to reach you, bro. I keep calling and calling. Nobody's picking up. I really hope you're not. All right, 235s again for the 70, and then the 10, making 80 pounds. You already know. We hit 12, set one. So we're throwing the gloves on for set two. Maybe we'll get 15 reps right now. Let's go. Set two. Yo, bro, you just killed that performance, man. You killed it. 
Ready, guys, box the form. Box the shoulders. Yeah, yeah, I got somebody I want you to meet. Yeah. Yo, cat. Yo, cat. Oh, man, come on, not again. Yo, do you know who we are right now? Yo, cat. We do one more set, then we go dumbbell work, then rings. Tracking the way to dips. Twelve reps at one. Thirteen reps at two. One more to go. What up? What up? What up? What up? Yes, yo, King Doug. Watch the old videos. Appreciate you. You already know. I put everything up. No pain, no gain. Facts. I have a pre problem when you flare your elbows. Be careful with that. You don't want them too tight. You definitely don't want them too wide. There's a time and place for the wide L wide flared out dips. But if you're not strong and you're not ready for them, I wouldn't recommend not doing them. Favorite place to work out is the park. I just wish I had everything here in the park. Yeah, you already know we getting money. Let's go. I mix endurance. I'm gonna do endurance at the end. Definitely be some endurance in here. And then one day I'll just do an endurance day. You'll see me just doing endurance sets. I had that 90 second break going. I got 15 seconds up, ending it because it probably took longer already. So. What you gonna do when a good girl walks away? Third set. We're gonna do some shoulder work too. Shoulders is getting hit. Come on. We only been here 48 minutes. We got a lot of work to do. Let's go. We got a lot of work to do. Can you hold items in your pecs? I don't know, man. I don't try that. How many pull-ups can you do without failure? I'm going to just say 30. Pull-ups are great for a whole upper body. Yes, weighted reps will definitely increase your unweighted reps. Facts. Should I keep using pre-workout? I use a pre-workout. I do. All right, let's go. Set three. Uh. Get close. Reps. Woo. Told you those deep dips, they hit different. 
Come on, let's see. Endurance. Endurance. How are we going to do endurance here? Let's go. What up, what up, what up, what up? Who's tuned in right now? What's good, everybody? What's good? What up, what up? Working out with books in the tote bag. Let's go, little dude. Lifted views, that's what I like to hear. Just get it in. What's up, what's up, what's up? What did I miss? How did I improve? How did I increase my pull-up game? I have a video, how to increase your pull-ups. Bro, I guarantee you, everyone that tells me they watch that video, their reps increase like that. Watch my video, I guarantee you, within one week, you'll have more reps. I promise you. I promise you, Charles. Yo, 26 pulls at 16, I ain't gonna front. They're gonna slow down a little bit, but just keep working. Trust me. Slow progress is better than no progress. Charles, I'll throw a pull-up routine at the end of my chest day. I got you. I got you. Hi. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Yo, what's good? What's good? Uh, JR, I've been, this is only like a year and a half old, everything. But I, it's not my first gym setup. Exactly. If your numbers are low, do not fail on if your numbers are low. If you, yo, you go to failure... When you're pumping out reps. If your reps are low and you're working in that strength range, don't go to failure. Yo, Mac, what's good, upstate? I got property in Downsville. All right, I gotta re I gotta reconfigure the setup for you guys so you get the angles. You already know we about to dump, get some bench work. All right. So so far, the flat bench. We did weighted dips. Now we're gonna get some incline chest work, and then we're gonna hit shoulders, which is gonna make it even harder. So we're going to get some incline chest work in, shoulder work, then some rings. So we're going to go incline d uh, dumbbell presses right now. And I want three sets of 10 reps. So I'm going to try to stick in a consistent weight. I'm going to throw 50s up. Yeah, that's what three sets of 10 reps. Remember, guys, first cue, head up, chest up, shoulders back. Shoulders back, keep your shoulders pinched back. When you go back to the pad, you don't want rounded shoulders when you're benching. Everything back, scapula pinch back tight. On three, we're kicking up. One, two, ah, lightweight. 
Oh, oh man, I'm fatigued. But I got this. Let's go. Let's go. How we do if I was if I was gonna feel too much pain, I would have stopped the set and went low. Remember, I did a lot of pressing already. So I'm relatively fatigued. Those dips, those three sets of 10, 12 rep dips with weighted reps. Trust me, thank you may be easy. It's definitely fatiguing on the muscles. I got no other angle, bro. It's only here or flat or incline. I only got so many levels on here, man. But I told you we're gonna hit shoulders too. I know it's a high incline, man. I wish I could go a little lower. I wish. Recovering faster, man. I like CBD oil. I love CBD oil. Also, rest. Rest. What up, USA? Tell me, tell me. What's good, USA, all day? Bro, the bench don't decline. Oh, I see you. I see you. Look, I'll show you right now. Look, the next level... It's flat, so I got flat, in, uh, slight incline, and then straight up. That's all I got. I would love to work right here. I would love to keep this angle, but unfortunately, I got no room for that. So, you see what I'm saying? Well, you got to work with what you got. That's why I got to really lower my chest, lower my body down. So it's not optimal, but you got to work with what you got. See what I'm saying? I can't though. You see what I'm saying? Let's go. Another 10. to put some holes in this bench. Bro, it's not that serious though. I got so many different things to do. Flat, weighted dips, this angle, ring dips. We work what we got. This ain't the final gym. There'll be more. Bro, the, so if you want to implement your pull-up, the pull-up routine that I should, say that on a pull day. Go in on your pull day. That should be your focus, working those pull-ups, dead hangs, chin over the bar holds. That's what you want to be working on. If, if pull-ups are your goal, keep that as a main focus. Exactly, adapt and overcome. You already know. Yo, thank you, Dalton. Appreciate you. I, I like weighted push-ups, but I just prefer to do... Weighted dips. Push-ups, I like to keep my high reps, usually. Philly was good. Philly was popping. If you're a starter, bro, you got to get yourself a rack. It's all you need. A power rack, a barbell, and some weights. If you can't do that, get yourself a nice range of dumbbells and a bench that adjusts. That's all you need. You guys miss the warm-ups. I'm always warming up prior. I'm always stretching prior to my workouts. Always warming up the shoulders. I got warm-ups in all my videos. 
come crashing down on me. Come crashing down on me. Crashing down. Especially out from everybody else. And I'm not even honest with myself. It's crazy when you lose control, realizing how much control you had. That I very same control might be holding you back. It's so tricky. It's like just wanna pick you apart. It's so sick. They wanna end you before you start, but don't tell me. Already you wanna end with this shit. I'm tired of hearing about the things I could eventually get. I want it all and I can't be stopped. If I can't get it, it can't be locked. I level up, you don't know this, so my best ain't all I got. I've been living like for a repeat. Living in hell, don't eat, don't bleed. Go so high, we come on beach. We don't got, we go unseen. Hey. And there's still so much left to say. Hope no matter where I go, these words will never fade. Never change, and I put that on everything. I just hope before I go, I find a way. Cause I don't wanna fall. Been there before, and I've seen it all. Come crashing. Reset. Down 10 done. On me. With the Come 50. Crashing down on me. Now, yo, shout out to whoever just bought the beginner three day lifting split. If you're watching, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'll send you a personal email too. I got a lot of their sets. I'm not a diamond, I'm a star. You think I'm rhyming just because? Have you ever had to choose? Hurry, get you lose something you dream of or someone you love? I don't think you simple sense comprehend. So remember, track you. 50 pounds, 10 reps. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Now I'm going to do a little bit of shoulder presses. Just get some shoulder work in. Because you know I just had a lot of shoulders too. What up? How long should you do? Workouts, hour, hour and a half, hour and a half is more than enough. Even 30 minutes is more than enough. Just make your workouts effective. I'm 5'9", if you're wondering, 5'9". I do street workout. Bro, come on, where do you think this is stuff? Where do you think we originated from? Come on. You want to rep? Yo, appreciate you, USA. Dips do straight bar and parallel bar. Nah, two, three hours is too much. At least 30 minutes for sure. Yeah, bro, I trained the Hefesto. I've trained Hefesto, Iron Cross. Never trained the Maltese. But uh, I had Hefesto on the ring. I almost had a cross. I'm going to throw the rings up too today. Yo, the live is going to stay, stay frequent for sure. You already know. Yo, let's go. Let's go hit the gym today, USA. Let's go. Winter don't phase us. Yo, Philippines, what's good? My brother, appreciate you. GTX, Saitam, what's good? My roids, nah, bro. You already know. Bar Naturals. Bar Naturals. All right, look. Oh. Oh, you're raising it. Raising it, pull back you guys a little bit. So you can see. Now we're gonna go again. Four sets, we're gonna aim for 10 reps. Shoulder press, I'm gonna lower the weight. I'm gonna throw up 45. I'm gonna see how 45 feels. Time to go I don't know how this is gonna go though, guys. Let's see. Come on. I know just take that key out of my pocket. All right, see y'all. 45s. Shoulder press. Come on. No idea how this is going to go. We're going to find out. One, two, three. Thank <laughs> you. 
First rep, so who's the hardest? I am not, no subject to Dumbing down for the public's view One hit and they're comfortable But give them substance and they're done with you I'm not one of you, I never wanna be There's no debate that I'm one or two And if you can't keep up, basically I said Hands down, I'm untouchable Strapped to grenades and I'm ready to blow Easy for me to keep mixing the flow up Now isn't that Uzi or Migo? Say Uzi and Migo, some of these people don't know right. what is what So fuck it, I'm closing the door shut And I'll show them Let me take that seven reps say, I could have banged out eight to compare them to me we're reinforcement. I probably would fuck me up a set two. I'm gonna rest. We're we'll going for another set of these 45s. Maybe the third set I might drop it. We'll see. You wanna have nice chests like me, Kathy? I think we got different goals. Ha ha yo. Let's go. Who wants to rep with me? Who wants to rep out? Let's go. I'll take Chris of Raps. Let's go. Facts. Hard work. That's it. Hard work and consistency. Thank you, my man. Fitness Phenom. Eric's my boy, bro. Great people. And yo. I respect all the YouTube channels putting out good content. No matter who you follow, as long as they're putting out quality content, I respect them all. So you already know. Let's get it. Full immersion in negative 40 in Fahrenheit. Bro, let me tell you something. Cold water therapy is amazing for the body. I do it every day. Only in the form of cold showers when I go to the saunas and out to the back the back houses, I go in the cold pool. But let me tell you guys something. Cold immersion immediately after a workout is gonna mess up your gains. It's gonna blunt, meaning it's gonna stop the body's own inflammation process of recovery. Your body is in an inflamed state after training. Your muscles are pumped and swollen. You want your body to recover like that naturally. You want to keep that pump. Going into ice water, cold submersion post-workout is going to blunt that effect. So it's not going to have the effects that you want doing cold therapy post-workout. Trust me on that. All right, yo. Set two. Come on. I'll be in Hollywood on Thursday, Charles. I'll be in Hollywood on Thursday. Let's go, 45. Seven again. So we got one more set. We're going to try to hit seven one more time. Make sure you track, you guys. Make sure you track in the workout.
this is a movement. I do it for the people that knew if I kept on pushing, I'd eventually move it. You can't stop me, I'm running up through these brick walls. Give me the ball and I'm assisting them. Chris Paul. But why they y'all mad at Chris Paul? Rap the riches and rappers since I was this poor. Dreamer, rich ball drinking. Beats on, I'm in my zone thinking. Trapped inside these walls, no ceiling. So the only way is up now. But I'm coming back a million when I come down. What up, what up, what up, what up? Yo, more collabs with Eric to come for sure, bro. East Coast, 100, you already know. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate everything. Yeah, I don't think cold water in the morning is the best idea. It should definitely be warm, uh, room temperature. I got the Bosu ball, bro. We use that with clients. Yo, let's go. We drive up 95. You see me? Three exercises each for two body parts. Each workout with heavy. Three exercises each for two body parts. Each workout. Yeah, it's a good move right there. Two body parts, so chest and back. Three exercises each. That's good. Reverse push up, supinated grip. Great for the delts. Great for planch training. Please don't wake me. All right, we need to. All right, let's go. Set three. Going to the top, seeing it from afar. Better get your telescope, we're chilling in the stars. In a spaceship with a chick from Mars. Cause everywhere you're not, it's everywhere we are. Yeah. We I don't count that first rep. Never break, throw us on a rocket. It's the only way we take off. And they gone to wasted opportunity. Waited on gratuity and tip, but they just weren't getting through to me. Wouldn't get far, huh? But look at where I'm at. I pinpointed where I want my name up on the map so far. So far, I built the ramp with my bars. No wood, just imagine where my head's at. Now achieving what we dreamed of in the way we carry on. Is the Three sets of seven for 45, that's good money. So next time I do this workout, I'm going to keep these 45s until I get three sets of ten. You only see the picture when you tag me. I guess the gravity was holding me down. Blast it all, left it all on the Remember, guys, progressive overload is key. Yo. We're stepping outside for the rings. I'm gonna throw the shirt on. It may come back off, it may not. That's what success does. I chase dreams, I'm laced in what you ain't seen. It ain't peaches and cream, it's fight how it may seem. I'm sorry I've been drinking a lot, but it's only because I've been thinking a lot. Lately I'm aiming up top, that's where I'm headed. Seeking a brighter future, defeated my path of running. Ain't waiting again like I used to. Me and up the free game and I'm already but I stand out because they don't do what everybody does. Trying to make a full You guys gonna see. They're gonna be hanging. Right there. Hold up. Make sure you thread your rings straight. You don't want twisted loops. 
You don't want to twist the strap. Everything straight. And I fucked that up. All right, guys. So you always want to thread, thread from the strap without the attachment. So you want to thread like this. Make sure it's flat. Make sure you pull it up flat, just like that. And then from here, you thread it on the back side so you got the numbers on the top. Watch. You're going to see. So now, when we're threading it, we got the graded numbers so we can see what level we're working at. So you want to make sure you can see the numbers on the outside of the strap. So we're going to move these up. On my strap, we're going to go to a level five, I think we're going to start on today. On, yeah, we're going to start. All right, we're putting them to a level five and a half. And we're going to start with some ring dips, demonstrate to you guys proper form again. Remember, thread the ring first on this side of the strap without the attachment. Make sure your straps are flat. You want the numbers on the outside. I'm going to grab this one. Thread it from the bottom. And again, you want to make sure, as you're going to see. We're going to move this again. See? I messed that up. I threaded that one backwards. So what you don't want to do. See, I'm going to re-thread that now. But you want to make sure you got the strap straight. Boom, there we go. There we go. up right now this thing keeps strapping up it's hardened we do it one more time make sure you got the rings right come on what happens when you rush boom straight there we go that's the problem this thing is all twisted come on straighten up straighten up there we go now we thread it. You said your name is Honestly, I wasn't even listening. I'm John. Stop. There we go. Well we want five and a half, right? Five and a half, right? Let's go. Alright. Alright guys. So you always want to make sure rings are even. When you're doing your dips, like I showed you. Don't ever want to be upright like this, right? Always rounded, protracted position, hollow body for that dip pole, right? So, again, same thing. And look, guys, see, the problem is I have these anchors, right? I got these anchors. See, one is straight that way, this one sideways. That's why these rings, 
even though I have them lined up, they're hanging a little off right now. So I got to adjust this one a little bit. And this one got to go up slightly because this anchor's a little off. So we're going to raise this one slightly. All right, there we go. So remember, dip form. You want to be in that hollow body hold. You don't ever want to be upright. So ready? First. Let's start with rings. We want to get into a ring position. Set them up so we can literally put our hands in and we're already at that bent arm. My feet are flat on the floor. You guys are going to see, look, feet are going to be flat on the floor. So watch. Flat on the floor. I'm walking right up to the ring. So I'm already in that bent arm, that Bulgarian dip position. This is bottom position of the dip. This would be locked out, right? So you want to walk up to the rings. So they're set up just like this. So you could put all your weight down. You don't have to do anything except from here. Head press. So you're literally doing a press up, dead stop press up, right off the floor into a ring, into a dip support hole. So if you can't do dips yet, start with your feet on the floor. This is how you're gonna get stronger. You're gonna press up and you're gonna end in that. Let me fix the angle for you. You want to end in that fully protracted, rounded out dip support hold. I'll show it to you correctly, and then I'll get into in incorrect position. Ready? So correct. Locked out, incorrect, straight. You don't ever want to be like that. It's going to force that shoulder impingement. It's going to make you depress the scap. Yo, like the video. You already know. Count the calories. What up? What up? What up? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? Yo, I, I, I'm the same as day one. You already know. What up? Hel healthy, holistic calisthenics was popping. Appreciate you. Canada was good. I see you. I see you. Yeah, man. If you want the best results, you could, you got to track. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you'll understand everything you're eating. You won't have to track as much. But uh, you already know. Let's get, let's get back on the rings. Remember, it's going to keep twisting. All right, so now I'm, I'm going to hit some Bulgarian dips for you. Ready? This is full range of motion Bulgarian dips. Watch. Remember, I'm going to start where you could just both, where you could all press up straight from the floor. My feet are on the floor right now. All my weight is down. See, look, I'm jumping. All my weight's on my hands. Ready? Press. Lock out. Now. Down. My feet are up. Down. Bottom position, locking out. Bottom position, locking out. Remember, always want to flare your wrist. You want to get your elbows in front of you. Hollow out the body. Core tight and contracted. You're squeezing the glutes. Your legs are straight. Toes are pointed down. You don't want no loose links in the kinetic chain. Remember, you don't want a loose limb. Everything tight. You want all the energy to be dispersed clean throughout the body. What do you want to figure out? You're, yo, here, I'm going to put the calculator up for you guys. T-D-E-E. -E. Use that T-D-E-E -E calculator.net. That'll help you guys determine your maintenance calories and if you want to bulk or cut. Use that. It's very, very simple. Basic uh, calculator for all you guys. Yo, Ray Bella, what's up? I see you. All right, let's go. Let's hit some reps. And ring dips, they hit different too, man. You get a full, nice contraction. You really feel that chest squeezing every lock. As long as you're contracting the right way and locking out, you really feel them. All right, let's do some ring flies. I'm going to show you guys ring flies.
All right, guys. So, y'all can't see, right? Y'all see the ring? How you like it? There or here? All right, so look. We're going to do some flies. Watch. Listen, you guys want to take your fly game to another level? Try them out on the range. Watch. Right, I'm going to have to raise this one slightly. There we go. Ready, guys? Why? Start here. Go back up. A little lower. Go back up. Eventually, you'll get straight arms. Work your range of motion. Those are too hard. Push up. Come up. Push up. Flare out. Come up. Wrist together. Down. Up. So, remember when I told you guys, the you get the full contraction of the pecs when you could bring the humerus across the body, right? That's why when you see people doing dumbbell bench press, they're bringing the weights close, right? When you're using a bar, your hands are going up like this, right? Hands are fixed on the bar. You can't bring your arms across. But when you're doing, when you're doing um, dumbbells, ring work, stuff like that, it allows more freedom of the arms and the joint. So what you want to do is you want to bring the arms across the body. That's going to get you that full contraction of the pec. So what you saw me doing there, just like in the Bulgarian dips, the dip position, you start here, you end like this, right? That hollow body position, you're bringing your elbows together, wrist flared out, contracting the chest. When you're doing these push-ups, the flies, then you're coming up, elbows are coming together, contracting that chest. As if you were doing flies with dumbbells, same thing. And when you saw me doing those push-ups, coming out down here, coming up, bringing your arms and your elbows together. That's how you're going to get that contraction. Isn't this the incorrect way of push-ups? No, no, hell no. These are ring push-ups. And listen, floor push-ups, you, you don't want your arms flared out like that, but you also don't want your arms in like this. Floor push-ups, you should be like this. This is proper range of motion for a floor push-up. Not really like this, but ring push-ups, you're getting into that Bulgarian, the, that Bulgarian uh, aspect where the Bulgarian dip, where your shoulders flare out, that's correct. So watch one time, one more time. Yo, Scott, was good, brother? I see you, my boy, brother. Was good. Ready? We're gonna go flies to pushes. Watch correct form. Watch correct form. Flies first. Look, we're gonna start. Wrists are gonna come together. We're gonna fly out. So if this is your beginner, just go to here. Bring your arm back. The more advanced, go as far up as you can. 
Back together. Flare out. Back together. Push up. Down. Flare it out. Up. Contract. So, good afternoon, Taku. Yo, Prez, let's get to 20K. Appreciate you, Scott. Let's go. Share these videos. Subscribe. Get your family, your boys, your girls, your friends, everybody to subscribe. Thank you, bro. The ring push-ups, they hit like no other, bro. Uh, if you want to hit the heavy bag on a rest day, absolutely. Warm up the pens. If you're doing a shoulder workout, I wouldn't go too heavy on the heavy bag. You may fatigue your shoulders a little bit. I'll maybe save that to the end of the workout. October Scorpio, what's good, my bro? I see you. Yo, the rings, you can find a cheap pair for as low as like $30, $40. Probably be plastic. I don't recommend them. I recommend finding a good pair of wood rings. These rings right here that you see up there right now, I had those that same pair for like eight years. But I want to tell you, when I got them, they're dry wood. I had a boy of mine. He polyurethaned them, stained them, and they withheld the weather, and they lasted all this time. They're just now starting to split a little bit, and I just uh, copped another just pair of wood rings. And I think you paid maybe 30 bucks just for the rings. I don't like how Prez is right in the joint of the brick. But obviously he's good. Yeah, bro, it's, they may come out. Yeah, bro. We're going to, we're going to hopefully this holds up. So one more set. Flies to pushes. All right, we're going to hold this fly. Iso hold. Come up, iso hold. Push up, iso hold. Remember, you guys want to get strong in the position? Hold the position as long as you can. So start. Let's go. Out. Out. Right into a push. Hold. All right. Yo, we've been here for one hour, 34 minutes. I'm going to wrap the chest up right now. Somebody asked about pull routine. I'm going to demonstrate the ways you could be increasing your pull-ups. If you're a beginner, and that's going to wrap up the routine for the day. So stay tuned. I'm going to bring the camera in. We're going to do some pulls, and let's go. Yo, I don't know what just went on with that. Not too sure what just went down. I don't need nobody spamming the channel. I don't need nobody spamming. Yo, you about to get blocked again, Cornwall. Yo, you guys are sus.
What up? What up? I appreciate all you for watching. Yo, the next comp, be, I'll let you guys know when it's coming for sure. I'm hoping I'm in L.A. real soon, man. If, hopefully this year, if not, definitely early 2021, I'll be in there 100%. All right, we're going to do a pull-up routine now. So just one. Just one for you guys. All right. So... Look, look, I'm going to do one demonstration. Main exercise you guys want to work on if you're trying to increase your pulls. Listen, easiest variation, whether you're a beginner or a newbie. Let's go. Let's say your max, let's just put our max pull up number is 10. Okay, we're going to work at number 10. If your number is 20, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to, instead of doing 10 seconds, it's going to be 20 seconds. And if your max number is five, you're going to do five seconds instead of 10 seconds. So we're going to work at a 10 rep max. So my max pull-ups, if I was to jump on the bar fresh right now, let's just, for instance, we're going to say, this is the example. If I'm fresh jumping on the bar, my max pull-ups is 10. This is how we're going to get stronger. Ready? Y'all can see the bar. All right, so, so remember, 10. Y'all want the light on for this? Y'all want the light for this? I think the light's going to be better for this. So, remember, 10 is our max pull-up number, 10. So what we're going to do, this is going to go for beginners, intermediate, advanced. If your max pull-up number is 1, you're going to do this with 1 seconds. So watch. Remember, 10 is our number. So first we're going to do, get on the bar and we're going to hang for 10 seconds. Dead hang. Ready? Dead hang. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. From here we're going to pull up, chin over the bar. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold head to the bar. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to a dead hang. Now, you're going to rest. You're going to let your arms shake out for a few seconds, right? Remember, 10 is our max number. We just did a 10-second dead hang, 10-second chin over the bar hold, 10-second head to the bar. Came down, we're going to rest. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go right on the bar, and we're going to rep max reps one set, and that's going to that's gonna complete the one set. So now... Remember, if you had 10 reps max, this is where you're going to be at right now. You may only get out another four reps, but that's good. Listen, you hit that 10-second ISO dead, 10-second ISO chin over the bar, 10-second ISO head to the bar, and then you took a few second break, and you hit more reps as many as you could get out. That's one set. Doing that three to four sets, so you do that whole thing, rest about three minutes, do it again. Aim for three to five sets of that in your workout, and that's enough. Back off. Wait a day, wait two days, 48 hours. Try your max reps again. Guarantee you, as long as you're not too sore after 48 hours, if you are, wait one more day, wait three days, 72 hours, go up, test your pull-ups again. I bet you you're going to get a few more reps. And if you don't get it on the very next day, do the same workout. So do the dead hang, two workouts in a row, 10 second. 10 second, 10 second, five rounds for one week, day one, rest three days, do it again, rest three days, the following week, come back, test your your max pull-ups, guarantee you, your pull-ups are going to increase. All right, y'all, we've been at this an hour, 40 minutes. To do this at the end of your pulling workout, okay, so if you have pull-ups already and you're good at pulls and you want to increase your reps, I would either keep this to be, a, if you're working on increasing your reps, I would keep this as a specific routine. It don't matter. If you have 20 reps, dead hang for 20, hold chin over the bar for 20, and then head to the bar for 20. It's going to be a very effective routine for you to do alone. And then at the end of your routine, throw these in for maybe one or two rounds. You don't got to do it for five rounds if you're doing a whole pulling workout. Only if, uh, if your goal is to learn pull-ups and get better and better at them, make this the focus of your workout. Focus of your back day. Then from there on, do a little more accessories, maybe some body weight rows. But those sets are going to be tough. They're going to they're going to stimulate a lot of central nervous system fatigue as well with the ISO holds.
Uh, rematching, I mean, if, if it would be a rematch, it would be a one-on-one -on -one setup. It probably wouldn't be um, competition-based, like live like that, unless they set it up. I'm not the coordinator of the competitions. I definitely would, I'm definitely going to be in more competitions. You'll see me soon. It's probably going to be reps again because those are the only ones that I know that are coming up again. I know Boss Life's having one out in January. I've been there for the last two years. I'll be there again in 2021. I'm hoping we get some more Wingate in this year. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be in the competition scene. Uh, video how to work out traps. Yeah, I'll throw some videos on that. If you got dumbbells, man, shrugs, you could do some reverse shrugs on the dip bar. But, uh, yeah, your, your traps will get hit. You don't want to have two overpowering traps, though, because that's going to take away from your neck and take, take away from the uh, the width of your physique looking. So, again, I'm 5'9 for everyone that's at, uh, watching. Yo, I appreciate everyone that tuned in. I think it was like 120 at one point max. Um, so, yo, again, guys, I appreciate the support. Share the videos. Like them. Subscribe to the channel, man. Get your friends, get your family to subscribe. I'll be giving more giveaways out over time. We just did a big 10K giveaway. When I hit 10K on Instagram, we're going to do another nice giveaway. When I hit 20K on YouTube, man, you guys are going to be in for some treats. So stay tuned. Pass these videos around. Get your boys. Again, like I said, get more people that you know to watch these videos. Have them start getting into fitness. It's winter time. We're working on those 2021 bodies now. So appreciate all you guys. Again, peace out. Stay tuned for more live workouts. You're going to see a lot more of these. And again, let me know, comment what kind of workouts you want to see me do live. And I'll try to and I'll try to do that same routine for you guys. I'm here for demonstrations. You guys need help. Let me know. Again, guys, peace out. Thanks again. Yo, resistance band, go on my uh just go on my YouTube videos. I have a link for them in my descriptions. Yo, it's a wrap, guys. An hour 42 minutes. I'm here with you guys. Appreciate the support. Uh, everyone that tuned in for the whole time, yo, you guys are, I, I'm blessed to have you guys. For real, peace. It's a wrap. I got to go eat.